Hey there, Josh from joshualapinfitness.com and I am back here again today to discuss a little bit about my isogenics experience and kind of the results that I achieved um, through the isogenics program, uh, specifically through their 30-day cleanse program. Um, now, I will say that my results may be a little bit different because uh, I, I basically did two programs simultaneously. I did the 30-day cleanse program, uh, which uh, you can look at other videos and see what that involves. And I also used the AMP products simultaneously, which are workout products. So uh, as I was doing the cleanse, uh, I was also working out and using their performance supplements. So that may have impacted the results that I uh, achieved. Um, I did write all my results down. Uh, that's something I think you should consider doing as well uh, with any fitness challenge. But I think you should do that anyway throughout your uh, fitness journey. Uh, this, this is more of a lifestyle, at least what I advocate for anyway. I don't advocate for fad diets or do this program for six weeks and get the results and then go back to the way you're we're doing things normally. Uh, the stuff that I talk about and recommend is a lifestyle for me. So, and a part of that lifestyle is actually keeping track of your results. So, I recommend that you uh, log kind of what you eat so you can get a good idea of what your caloric intake is and what your macronutrient profile distribution is. Basically how much protein you're eating, how much carbs you're eating, how much fat. Because that can really give you some insights into your lifestyle and the kind of things you need to work on. Plus it'll help you uh, get the results you're looking for and identify problems. As well, uh, I do track measurements, which is what this is here we'll be discussing. And uh, I do track my workouts, such as the exercises I do, the number of sets I do, and the number of reps I do. Um, it's very important uh, to realize that fitness is a long-term goal, uh, and the gains that you're usually going to see are going to be slow and incremental. So you need to understand that going forward. Uh, you can get some dramatic results, kind of like we're going to talk about here today, but those kind of dramatic shifts are going to happen far and few between. Mostly it's going to be day to day, a little bit here, a little bit there, and over the long term is when you'll see the greater results. I just wanted to say that up front before we get into the video here. All right, so the results I actually achieved on this plan are as follows. Uh, I started this challenge around May 28th and I ended around July 11th at the current year, which is 2020. Mine was a little bit longer than the 30-day challenge. Uh, I actually started tracking my results using the AMP line uh, before, a couple weeks before I actually jumped into the 30-day uh, cleanse challenge. So, uh, as far as weight, when I started the program, I was at 184.4 on um, 528, and when I ended the actual cleanse portion, I was at 172.4, which is a 12 pound difference, pretty dramatic difference. Um, so that's weight, but I also did actual measurements with uh, the major areas of the body, uh, the shoulders, chest, arms, legs, and of course the midsection area. So for the shoulders, when I started, I was up around 46 and a half, chest 38 and three quarters, both arms uh, relatively consistent around 15 and a quarter, both legs around 22 and a half, uh, mid waist, kind of up here, 35 and a half, lower waist, closer down to the hip, 
line hip bone uh, 36 and a half. So that's kind of my starting area. Uh, at the end of this challenge, uh, my shoulders went down about two inches, so I was probably carrying uh, some extra weight there. Went down to 44 and a half. Chest actually went up to 39, so that's up a quarter of an inch. Arms actually went up to 15 and a half, so that's a quarter inch gain on those. Legs went down a little bit, about a half inch on one, and almost full inch on the other. So I was carrying, I do tend to carry some of my fat weight in my legs, so that's why those went down. And of course, midsection went down. I went from 35 and a half to 34 and a quarter mid waist, lower waist from 36 and a half to 34. So obviously, um, carrying a lot of extra weight in the stomach area. So overall, I, I'm pretty impressed with the results. Like I said, the chest and arms actually went up. Uh, I attribute that to the workouts that I've been doing throughout the program and taking the AMP line, which is the performance enhancement line. Uh, of course, I would expect on this kind of program my weight to go down, and like I said, about 12 pounds uh, have went down during the uh, program. Uh, there, obviously there was some caloric, I was consuming a little bit less calories than I was usually doing, so obviously that's why I went down. Uh, since then, since I've, I'm not doing the challenge, I'm more in a maintenance mode, uh, the weight went up a little bit, a couple of pounds, uh, but I expected that to happen. But overall, the, uh, the results are sticking. Of course, I'm continuing to work out, and I'm continuing to work out. And, uh, like I said, this is a lifestyle for me. I eat healthy 90% of the time. Um, I do definitely recommend Isogenics. I think it's a great program for people uh, both who want to either lose weight, who want to improve their overall health and fitness performance. And uh, it's definitely something I would uh, like for folks to consider for a long-term lifestyle. The, the program is, is not hard, it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, what they offer is a lot of healthy uh, shakes, protein supplements, meal replacement, workouts, um, workout uh, supplements, and like a, a lot of whole food blends, kind of superfoods where they take a bunch of like really healthy stuff and they blend it all up for you and you can drink it as a shake. So it's, it's a convenient way to get nutrition. Uh, I like to use it, it's, it's, it's very convenient for me because I can, um, especially the shakes because you can use them as meal replacement as well. There are some days when I'm very busy and I haven't had time to food prep, so it's really convenient to be able to grab a shake and know that I'm going to get the nutrients I need and not have to spend a lot of time. So, I mean, I use the shakes all throughout the day. Sometimes I use them for breakfast, sometimes I use them for lunch, sometimes I use them for dinner. Like I said, great, great convenient way to get your energy. And as you can see, uh, you can definitely get some results out of this. So, uh, in the long term, my plans for Isogenics are to, um, as I've talked before in previous videos, I do a kind of a cycle throughout the year. Uh, fall and winter, I do more of a strength training bulking phase where I'm looking to add strength and add actual muscular size and development. During spring and summer, I go into more of a cutting phase where I want to be leaner, have less body fat, basically for the beach and things like that. So I would definitely be using Isogenics um, workout amp supplements to assist in my workout continuously. I'll use their meal plans and shakes um, for convenience uh, as I need to use it for, like I said, throughout the day. If I haven't had time to food prep, if I need to get a quick meal but I don't have much time, shakes are a great way to do that. And I plan to use it for, like I said, the cutting part of my year where I'm trying to actually lean out and lose weight. So a lot of different applications for it. 
Uh, some people do think it's expensive, and it is expensive, so I wanted to address that topic here just briefly. Uh, but I've done a lot of cost comparisons, comparing it to other programs, comparing it to other products on the market, and comparing it to what it actually costs to make healthy meals anyway, and it's really not out of line with any of that. So. I think, as a, from a market perspective, um, they're they're right on target. Uh, it, it costs money to invest in your health, and it costs money to eat healthy foods. So, Isagenix is just a platform and a convenient way to be able to do that. Well, so that's about it for right now. I just wanted to get up here real quick and just kind of tell you my results of what I achieved uh, from what I hear. Um, me and especially can achieve these results. Um, pretty standard across the board. It's, it's not uncommon. So uh, I can't speak from a female perspective, but I have seen through the Isogenics community that a lot of women get amazing results as well. So uh, that's just my take on this, and I hope it was helpful for you. Uh, for more information on these kind of programs and these kind of things, which is what I like to study and kind of review, uh, just visit us at joshualapinfitness.com.